This NAFPE Spotlight is brought to you in part by the United Negro College Fund Special Programs Corporation and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. In an effort to enhance the professional development of NASA employees and STEM faculty at minority institutions, NASA developed the NASA Administrators Fellowship Program. Through this premier program, NAFPE works to increase the ability of these minority institutions to respond to NASA's overall research, development, and educational mission. To highlight and honor the achievement of its fellows, the NASA Administrators Fellowship Program spotlights Dr. Nadi Puram Prasad. Dr. Nadi Puram Prasad has studied electrical and computer engineering throughout his entire academic career. Receiving his bachelor's from Mysore University in India, his master's from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and his PhD from New Mexico State University. Now, I got first interested in science probably when I was five years old, when my uncle, a brilliant uh, electrical engineer, uh, inspired me by uh, coming home uh, to our home in small town place called Mysore in South India, and uh, showed me how uh, a light a bulb can be turned on by just connecting one wire into the plug and taking the other wire and connecting outside into the ground, physical ground. And I was amazed that you could actually do something like that. And it was only later on, many years later, that I really found out what the word ground means. And I'm an electrical engineer. So that was my passion. Prasad has been an associate professor at New Mexico State University for over 20 years his area of expertise, neural networking, and fuzzy systems. What you see there is just the, the sum of the two currents. Prasad's students offer some insight into his teaching style. I think Dr. Prasad's teaching style is highly motivating and exciting. I remember when I took him for 341, he was, uh, you know, he tried to find ways of taking real life experiences and applying them to the things that we learned. He is more like a friend, and he, is, uh, he, is, he, he gets really personal with you, and he, he goes in-depth and uh, goes to the fundamentals. He always, he always stresses on uh, strengthening your fundamentals. When we come to the lab, he gives out like gospels, and uh, uh, they really make sense when you, when you think about it. And uh, uh, he, he always asks, asks us to think a uh, bio-inspired way. Prasad offers this explanation for his unique teaching style. It is like Kirchhoff's current law, if you were to really want to expand your mind. Kirchhoff's current law simply says that at any given node, and I will make the analogy that the node happens to be me, meaning my thinking, my mind, and I get a lot of inputs coming in to, towards me in terms of ideas, I have to kind of propagate those ideas. And my propagation of the ideas is I observe and I make some conclusion and I come to the student and I say, here is an idea, go explore it. So that's all part of the physics that we all know. Whatever comes in as knowledge must go out in terms of knowledge and maybe even a little bit more advanced knowledge so that the advanced knowledge can carry us through into the future from where we are. Even his colleagues at New Mexico State University think highly of what he has accomplished as a result of his NAFP experience. I think most people on the faculty think of him as being a very forward-thinking person, someone who's looking for what is the application that's really out there and also someone who really tries very hard to bring in many uh, seemingly disparate concepts and try to make them work together and it's very intellectually exciting to see a faculty member pull things from different areas and, and stir them together and make something come out of that. And that's intellectually very exciting to see and hopefully the students pick up on that. Prasad encourages his students to be bio-inspired by creating technology that is fashioned after the natural world. Basically what we proposed here in this experiment uh, was a sensor swarm to automatically detect and repair leaks in pressurized environments like the space station. So if a micrometeorite comes and impacts the space station and causes a sudden leak, uh, the astronauts don't have to run around and try and find it. Uh, well, the, the, there will actually be a sensor net to automatically detect where that leak is at and then a sensor swarm dispatched to repair that leak. Projects like the Dynamic Sensor Net are part of Prasad's bio-inspired Rio Grande Soft Technology Initiative. Rio Soft, directed by Prasad, partners with four New Mexico universities. New Mexico State, New Mexico Highlands, New Mexico Tech, and the University of New Mexico, as well as University of Texas at El Paso. 
So we are part of a Rio Robo, uh, part of the Rio Robo Lab here, where uh, the uh, lab activities is involved in developing uh, bio-inspired technologies. And the NAFP program gave me the great opportunity to be involved with JPL, where most of the work is really bio-inspired in nature. If humans can do it one way, then robots must also do it the same way or similar ways. So you build machines that emulate the behavior of humans and possibly other biological systems. Through the NAFP program, professors like Dr. Prasad are given the opportunity to spend a year at a NASA center. The NAFP fellowship program that was awarded me um, uh, put my mind into a different framework of thinking. And we all know that you know, we think, you know, the way we think, and uh, unless you're put into a circumstance, unless you're given the option of doing some additional thinking, you don't know how to evaluate the benefit of one over the other. What NAFP did in awarding me this fellowship basically said you can go to any NASA center. And it was always my dream to go to JPL. And this is not something that popped up, popped up in my head, you know, after I came to the U.S. But it was always my dream from the very young age that I wanted to somehow be in a place like JPL. So with that suddenly coming into light, I took that opportunity by going to JPL and spending a year at JPL under this fellowship. So would I recommend this to other faculty to kind of experience the same experience that I have? You bet, I would. I would promote an AFP to all of the faculty that I come across and say uh, there's a great opportunity for going, for going into the NASA culture and kind of cultivate the skills that we already have. We have to cultivate the skills of advanced thinking and NASA, all of NASA culture is doing advanced thinking. Prasad describes his experience at JPL. Uh, the year at uh, JPL was the most mentally rewarding one year that I can think about because uh, it is like a seed becoming a plant. You know, um, uh, someone has to plant a seed for it to germinate, for it to grow, and you water it and it grows better and you take care of it, it'll grow even better. So the one year of thinking that I spent at JPL put me into different plateaus of where science should go, sh where, where science should be. What should be, we, do, we be doing at New Mexico State in order for New Mexico State students to gain that recognition of being world-class researchers? You don't have to come from schools like MIT to have that credit of MIT. You can come from universities such as New Mexico State University and still compete in the kind of thinking that MIT students exhibit. So humans can go anywhere they want and excel. So yes, my desire for New Mexico State is for New Mexico State to be an excellent university and a world-renowned institution you know, in the field of robotics. Dr. Prasad benefited tremendously from his involvement in the NAFP program and offers these words of advice. I would definitely you know, recommend you know, any faculty that I come across who, has, who shares the similar views, who has a similar kind of uh, uh, aspirations in life to uh, go through the NAFP program, absolutely. By providing minority institutions a link to NASA, the NAFP fellows inspire young scientists to enhance their talents towards a national research agenda. By offering hands-on research, the NAFP educates and employs the workforce of tomorrow, our STEM champions. The United Negro College Fund Special Programs Corporation, serving as a portal between the vision of minority institutions and the funding priorities of our nation.